Hi guys, long story short, I'm stupid. I thought my mic was plugged into my phone, but it wasn't, and I was just recording on voice memos, and then obviously I put my hand on my hip, and you can't hear anything, so turn closed captions on to know what we're saying, because obviously I can't go back and re-record it, can I? Ugh, I'm an idiot, bye. Hi guys, welcome back to the Croatian Eurovision Club. I am here with Vincent Bueno from Austria. Welcome. Hi everybody, hi Emily. So we're just going to have a quick interview today. We've got some questions from Twitter, got some questions from Instagram. So our first one on Instagram is kind of a joke, but it brings me onto a topic I did want to talk about with you. Is he from Bueno Aires? It's kind of a play on the surname. All right. Um, so my surname's Bruin, you know, like a cup of tea, like you brew a cup of tea. Yeah. So I've heard those jokes my entire life. Yeah. And I was just wondering, you know, Vincent Bueno, Kinder Bueno, is that a joke that you put up with often? No, I, I actually say when, when people don't uh, understand my, my... I always say, um, my name is Vincent Bueno, like Kinder Bueno. <laughs> so do you have to, to give, you give it a slight, yeah. slight kind of like pause? Yeah. They look at you like that, and then when you, when you know, you know exactly, like Kinder Bueno. So they know, ah, all right, that's yeah. the one. So, I mean, you make the joke before they can do it. No, it's it's actually a nice one. Yes. Because isn't Kinder Bueno really yummy? Oh, it's actually my favorite favorite chocolate in the world. Which is also another question we got from Twitter: is what is your favorite chocolate? Um, Milka. Milka. <laughs> I know. As soon as I come to, because we don't have it in the UK, so when I come to Europe, I'm you like should, you should have hoarding it. Milka from you the shelves. Have it. You have it. I've got two back in my apartment. Yeah. Um, so, who is your favorite artist this year? Um, I've been asked this question for so. I bet. <laughs> lot um actually i i don't have one mm -hmm. but um i appreciate a lot of music this year um and i have the feeling that every year is getting better and better with everyone right. like honestly yeah it is really intense yeah and i mean from twitter as well we've got who would you most like to do it with i know it's so hard to choose but if you had to pick one to do it with i think funny would be me and daddy from iceland yes i mean <laughs> He would sit, yeah. and he would still be bigger than me. Yeah, I mean, I yeah. feel like he could do that to anyone. But I like the way I like the way he makes music. I mean, he's he's, yeah. he's a nerd, and I like that because I'm a nerd too in my studio. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, nerd stuff. So I've got a question here saying, if you had to choose a song that best describes you in your life, what song would it be and why? It would be. It would be actually for my for my music or mm -hmm. any any. any. Uh, since I was growing up with Michael Jackson, I think Michael Jackson beat it. Mm. I like that one. Yeah, good song. Come on. Yeah. Oh, that's a good move. <laughs> what is your best dance move that you've got in the book? I don't have a lot. Like, I, oh. I don't, I don't have a lot. Oh, hold oh, up. I don't have a lot. <laughs> oh, I don't have a lot. I just break dance right here. You know, that's fine. Okay. I mean, all I can about do is floss. That, can you floss? Yeah. Oh, you're good. And real boss. <laughs> right. Amazing, brilliant. I mean, so talking more about the contest and everything. Um, obviously, you entered entered last year with Alive. Yeah. And um, it was a very, very different sort of song. I mean, what was the thought process about? I mean, how long did it take you to find out that you were coming back? Um, after it was cancelled, I was. Um asked uh, two days after oh that's good and i was like wow you guys are amazing mm. I, I didn't take it for granted at all and um but this time uh the orf team and i chose the song together mm. and um at first i had total freedom to, to to submit whatever i felt like you know but at the same time you know amen was the best song for this year <laughs> I, really, I really i really do uh, believe that yeah. yeah, and I mean, when I first listened to it, so I saw more reactions for YouTube. And I first listened to it, I was like, listen to something at the end, I was singing alive. And I was like, wait. So one of the lyrics in Alive is like, you make me feel alive again. Yeah. And it's all about the beginning of this exciting relationship. Yeah. And then I was listening to Amen, and I'm like, I never thought you'd bury us. I never thought we'd die. And I'm like, hmm. Yeah. Did this link? Was there any like literal since, thought behind that? Since, since since it's not a song that I wrote, so yeah. I think it's just uh, you know, it has nothing to do with my song. Mm. So I think it's, it's cool because because at the end of the day, um, I see the second chance almost like you know, like it's like a concert. You know, in a mm. concert you don't 
always have the same song or the same theme. It's I was like, okay, if if if, if my television broadcaster uh, when they presented me the song, I was like, yeah, mm. it's strong because it's a total opposite of what I was uh, presenting, and it just gives you more depth, I think, as a, as, a, as an artist, and. Um, even though Amen is harder to sing than Alive, though, you know, yeah. because you have to focus that energy and you have to be a storyteller than just a performer. Mm. So I'm challenged and I love that challenge. Yeah, definitely. I mean, and wait, excuse me, shout outs to Unified Songs for this amazing masterpiece, honestly. And I, it, you can just tell, I was watching your second rehearsal earlier from the arena and you can just feel the emotion in the room. It's like a total just yeah. vibe. I mean, what does that song mean to you? Yeah. You can feel it so strongly. Um, I'm, I'm trying, uh, today actually, um, especially in the second rehearsal, I, I tried to, uh, I was a little bit too technical maybe, uh, <laughs> but, but that's, that's a, a critique for myself. Yeah. But yeah, the emotion is really, really strong because in my life I was experienced experiencing a lot of um, loss already mm -hmm. um, you know a, a lot of interviews already mentioned that uh, I, I lost uh, my second daughter you know? she was born and I lost her right? so these are things that uh, don't leave me cold <laughs> you know when I when I'm on stage and, and know that I have to sing about grief and separation so I think that in a way even though these are emotions that I don't feel good in, in the moment if you uh, let them happen because at the end of the day we all have to face death somehow um, I think it's it's releasing something it's it's it's, it's at the end of the day uh, the, the, the message of the song is when you let go of things that you can't control mm -hmm. you you make room for hope and, and that yeah I mean that's a beautiful message and I think especially in this weird time right now we all sort of need to get to that point of acceptance and yeah. um, healing. So just a couple more questions. From Twitter we had anything you want to say to your Filipino fans. So if you're not Filipino or a fan, don't listen. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. I like if you move better. Thank you. Um, guys, um, Mabuay and Filipinas, thank you so much for you guys' support. I appreciate every one of you guys and um, I feel really sorry that I can't react to everyone's uh, comment and, and feedback. But I feel you guys, and I, I represent the flag inside of my heart. Yeah. Aw, that's lovely. Uh, one last question, this is just from me that I've just thought about while we've been stood here. What is your skincare routine? Because I'm just looking at your skin right now, and it is, it is beautiful. Okay, I, I was like... I was <laughs> You're like, what is she on uh, about? <laughs> um, honestly, I had that one over here, and I was like... Oh, come on! Honestly, honestly, I was devastated, you know why? Because, because normally... Okay, okay, that, 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 that sounds a little arrogant, but I, I, I'm gifted, I really have, I have nice skin, but through hotel life right now, you can't cook for yourself, all this, all this junk, and, um, but, but yeah, I, I can't, it's complaining in a, in a very high level, so I'm super grateful to be here, but thank you for the compliment. No worries. Any time. It's nice skin. I can't deny it. Well, that's it for us then. Thank you so much for watching. Please remember to like, subscribe, comment, follow us. You know, do all the, the things that you hear everybody else tell you to do. And uh, we'll see you in the next video.